What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmies and welcome back to the series on Python. In the last two videos, we learned about functions. There's an important concept called local variables which we need to understand when we work with functions. We will cover exactly that in this video along with global variables in Python. So let's get started. I have this function to add two numbers on my screen. This add underscore numbers function takes two parameters, finds their sum and prints the result all in the same function. Now instead of printing result from inside the function, let's see what will happen if we print result after the function call. So I'll cut this code and paste it after the function call and this time when I run this code, then it gives me an error. It says result not defined. What Python is trying to tell us is that the result variable is not defined on line 6. What's going on here? This is where the concept of local variables comes in. Any variable that is created inside a function is local to it. Meaning the result variable is local to the add numbers function. When this function ends, this variable gets destroyed. If you remember, we can fix this by using a return statement. So I can say return result. And here I can say output equals add numbers and here I can print the output. With the return statement, we are not using the local variable directly, rather we are returning its value to the function call. This concept of a local variable is a good thing because anyone using the add numbers function doesn't have to know what's inside it. They just need to know what arguments to pass and what value it returns and they can use this function without a problem. This makes our code reusable to not only us, but also to our fellow programmers. Before moving to the next section of the video, I'd like to mention that the Programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easy to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description below. Any variables that are created outside a function are called global variables. And you can use these global variables from both inside and outside of a function. Let me give you an example. So I'll create a global variable called message and I'll say message equals how you doing. And now let me create a function def greet that prints this message and I'll call this greet function. Here message is a global variable as it's defined outside the scope of the function greet and you can use it anywhere after it is defined. Let me run this code to show you this. So when I press run then it says how you doing. Now let's see what will happen if you define a variable with the same name message inside the function. So I'll say message equals how are you and here to know that I'm printing the message from inside the function I'll say inside message inside function and after greet I'll again print message message outside function and I'll print the message variable here. Here, I'm trying to see what the value of message is by printing it from both inside and outside the function. When I press run, then you can see message inside function is how are you and message outside function is how you doing. Inside the function, when we update the message variable, then rather than changing the global variable message, a new local variable called message is created. That message has a new value called how are you and that is what gets printed here. After the greet function, the, since the global variable message is unchanged, when we print it from outside, then it shows the global value. If we need to change the global variable inside the function, we can achieve this by using the global keyword. So here I'll add a new line that says global message and this time when I press run, then you can see that from inside the function, the value is how are you, but because I had defined it as global, the actual global message got changed. And when I come out of the function and try to print message again, 
the outside message or the global message variable has been changed to how are you. Before we end this video, here's a tip for you that will serve you well in the long run. Try to avoid the use of global keyword inside a function whenever possible. It makes our code really hard to understand as you must have seen in the last example. Now let's recap the concept that we learned in this video. A variable defined inside a function is local to it. When the function ends, this variable is destroyed. Variables defined outside a function are called global variables in Python. Inside functions, the global keyword can be used to change the value of a variable to a global scope. However, it's considered a bad practice and you should try to avoid it. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you're just watching the video without writing any code, I highly encourage you to try the programs in this video on your own. The only way you can be a good programmer is by trying. By the way, you can find all the programs from this video on GitHub. I provided the link in the description below. Feel free to copy the program and edit them as you please. And if you have any questions and feedback, feel free to use the comment section below. Join me in this video series and let's explore the exciting world of programming together. If you like this video, hit the like button now and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell icon so that you don't miss the next video. In the next video, we will start a new section. We will learn about the list data type which is one of the frequently used sequences in Python. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.